Okay, so now we're gonna add the features. Just thinking about this, and I'm just I'm going to first show you uh, how I put the face. So what you need to do is we're going to go to this part. Okay, so we're gonna insert the string so it will go to that. So that it will go to that front part. This is a little bit tricky to me. So since we're here, I'm gonna insert it to the other one. The other side of the B. And that is, go that is also going to be the case for the other string. You have to insert it to a series of beads so it will go to that certain place. So we can put the eye part. It's gonna be hard to insert the string now. But since we're here, I'm gonna put the eyes first. So you're gonna pick up glass beads that have the same size so that it will be equal or similar so like these two beads are kind of the same size so what you need to do is put one on the right string put the other one on the left and then we're going to select up with a white bead So now it's going to be on that part, see? So I'm gonna put the snap part. <clears throat> so put one white one on the right string and one on the left. And here we're gonna select up with the red bead. So you need to choose that red bead. It's a glass bead. Select up there. Now we have that. We're gonna insert our string so that it will go to this part to form the ear part. Okay. So insert it to a series of beads. So that both ends is going through this one bead. It's the case for the other one. So here is where we're going to put the ears, okay? So now we have that. Okay, so now we're gonna assemble the ear part. This is a little bit tricky. But we're gonna put three beads on one of the strings. And since we're here... I'm gonna pass it through here so that it will go that way. So in er in order for it to fold, just like this one, what we're gonna do is we're going to put the string to this other part here. And then, we're gonna catch this point, or this bead. We're gonna catch it. Pass it through there. We're here, but we're gonna pass it through this one bead. Then we're going to pull that string. And then we're gonna pass it through this, the same bead there. And then we're gonna pull a string so that it will fold. Okay, so that is the first ear, and that's also what we're gonna do for the second ear. I'm gonna show you once again. I put three blue beads on this string, this one string.
and then I'm gonna pass it through same so it'll go that way see so in order for it to fold we're gonna put the string search a string to this side of the bead and then we're gonna catch that one bead that is pointing insert a string again here and then pull it so now you will see that ears is at the back part holding there's another way of doing this but this is what I'm gonna show you so now that we have that we're going to the feet part now so I'm gonna catch up with you Okay, so now that we're here, we're gonna form the feet part now. What we need to do is pass the string through here so that it will go to the bottom part. Okay. So the feet is made out of three, three beads there. So I'm gonna put three beads on this string first I'm just gonna use this string put three blue ones then insert it to this middle part of the bottom so if ever your string gets a little bit like this twisted or if it ever goes this way, you can just cut it again horizontally or slanting. So since we have that first feet there, we're going to make the feet, the second feet. So we're going to put three blue ones on that string. Then you're going to pass it through here, going upwards. So that we can form the tail part next. But before that, so insert it here. For that, we're gonna make the other side, the other side of the feet. So that is using this other set of string, the other side of the string. So what you need to do now is you're gonna go downwards. So it will go here. And then we're gonna form the feet again so you need to put three blue ones on that string so now you see that it's a little bit like that so now that we're here insert your string to this middle bottom part so now you have that feet there and then for the last feet, I'm gonna put three blue ones. So now we're going to this tail part. Okay. Insert your string upwards. So now you have four legs. And then insert it in the other way. So your string will be coming out of this one bead here. So now we can form the tail part. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to form the tail part. Uh, other people do this another way, but this is how I make it. So since we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to silicone with a blue bead three times so since we have that bead that one bead we're gonna silicone to that one bead making it very making it like this 
And then we're gonna put another one. Making it very. And then we're gonna put the last one. So basically, this is the end of the end of the item but you just need to pass through your string to close it so what I usually do is I use one string first pass it through back backwards so that it will go to the body and then I pass it through here so that it will go to the to the legs part or the feet part so can, I can also uh, make it sturdy. Pass it through here. So the string will be doubled and it will be much more sturdy this way. So that is also what you're gonna do with the other string so that it will be hidden and then after that you just need to cut it okay so this is, since this string is in here what you need to do is pass it through backwards on the tail part okay this is really a fast uh, project to make if you know the details and you can form other types of animals using this concept but I usually make these dog ones because it is convenient for me so after you have cut the string and pass it to several beads what you need to do next is you need to put the key ring. So I will show you that one next. Okay guys, so now that we have done the project, or we're done with the project, what's left to do is put the key ring. So for this project, or for putting it, you will need two sets of pliers. So, you need to open up your jump ring. And then, insert it to the uh, head part of the dog. And then, insert your, the chain part, insert it. To the jump ring then we're gonna close it using these other pliers okay so what you need to do is close it like this twisting it so that there won't be any space there so that is how you put the jump ring or the key ring for this project so that's the end of our tutorial i hope that you enjoyed making them as much as i enjoy uh, teaching them to you if you have uh, comments or suggestions please put them on the description or in the comments box below and i will put links to my other tutorials on the description box if you want to try them out so that's the end of our tutorial bye for now